How about we animate that? Hi, and welcome to How About We Animate That, the show where we bring things to life through stop motion animation. I'm your host, David Pagano, and today's show is a little bit different. The table in front of me is a little bit different than normal. Uh, I'm going to be talking today to Elisa Stern, the creator of Dr. Puppet. She's brought some really cool stop motion figures for us to check out. And rather than me standing here and trying to explain what Dr. Puppet is, we're just going to cut right to the action and I will let Elisa explain what Dr. Puppet is. So today I'm here with animator Elisa Stern. Hello, thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, and uh, you are the creator of Dr. Puppet and uh, maybe explain to the, the uninitiated what Dr. Puppet is. Sure, well... Uh, is it these? It is these. Dr. Puppet is a stop motion animated Doctor Who that uh, I've been making for uh, about six years now with a bunch of other people. It's not just me. Sure. Um, it's a very big project and we just finished the final episode a few weeks ago. So you can watch the complete story over on my YouTube channel. So you brought these puppets and we're going to animate them? All of them? One of them? What do you uh, think? I think let's animate a puppet that hasn't been animated before because I brought these four puppets because they have been animated the least. So these are kind of more like traditional stop motion puppets which I have, believe it or not, almost no experience animating. Yeah, they are pretty simple actually. It's a modular wire armatures uh, is what they are. So everything inside of them is uh, is aluminum wire, but they're modular because um, they come apart. So I'm gonna freak you all out. Um, <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Ah! It's okay, she's freshly regenerated, so no harm done. All right, well, <laughs> how about we animate that? This one, right? That one. Cool. All right, so we are replacing the normal white tabletop with these pieces of foam that you brought, and we're gonna use that to stage the scene. So you said all the mouths for the characters are paper? They are, yeah. So it's the only thing on the faces that move. Um, I guess kind of like Lego character. There's yeah. not a lot that moves. Yeah, it looks good. I think that's a good expression for her. She looks slightly annoyed. Like, I think this will be a good face because she's coming around the corner. She wants the doctor to let her into the TARDIS and he won't. Okay, so that's the backstory for There's this. That's the backstory. Okay. And we did, I should say, we did watch some footage of her yes. before this, and I, I now have a, a working knowledge of this character's sort of her. demeanor, let's say. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of holes in the set already, which is great. <laughs> It means that we can get away with not having to poke a new hole, probably. So how this works with this kind of stop motion puppet is that we have a hole in the set, which is any one of these holes, um, and the hole in the foot. And then this is a Dr. Puppet tie down. My custom heart handle. I was gonna say, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just demonstrate here so you can see it better. So there we go. That is how a puppet stands. Puppet can't stand otherwise. All right, so that's gonna go through the floor of this yep. this foam core that was from the actual Dr. Puppet set. This is very exciting. Yep. <laughs> Real is, authentic. Yeah, Dr. Exactly. Puppet authenticity puppet. is the name of the game here. So she's gonna kind of come around the corner. Yep. Ooh. So if she that looks great. If she pivots on like one. I think she's gonna pivot on her right foot. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna screw her foot onto the bolt. Yep. All right. She's pretty far back on that set. So maybe if you hold her, I can screw it in. Okay. So you have that foot. Okay, that feels pretty good. All right. There you go, and then you can kind of wiggle around and see. That feels good. Sweet. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you typically, what's the frame? This is such a stop motion. YouTube Frame comment. What, what? How many frames per second do you guys do? Twelve. Okay, so that's typically what we do it uh, on here on How About We Animate That also, so it's perfect. Yeah, no, uh, twelve, I just don't have the luxury. And I also really like the look of twelve. Okay, so this is very exciting. I don't know what I'm doing with these characters. I've only had... Touch the puppet! <laughs> I've only had a cursory... Right, you didn't even really experience. test this out. I didn't. Uh -oh. That's okay, that's what the show is for. Okay, so I've got like... The very slightest amount of her hat coming around there. How does the uh, wire puppet feel? Uh, not bad. 
I feel like this is slower than I want it to be, but I want to get more of the move going and then maybe I can erase frames. Yeah, to get it poppier. I do that a lot too. Okay, important question. Are you an onion skinner or a toggler? Uh, I tend to use the toggle. Yeah, me too. Because it's... It, this is not a thing I have much experience doing, but it feels like page flipping. Yes. Which I find more... I can't of, process the information if it's onion skin. I get confused. The only time I use onion skin is when, if I like mess something up and I need to get it like back into the same position, yep. that's when I'll do that, but yeah. Good. <laughs> team toggle. <laughs> Hashtag team toggle. <laughs> All right. I don't know if this is going to work, but what I want her to do is like bring the arm around the TARDIS and like almost grab it and use it to like pull herself Ooh. into like a final like settle. Mm hmm Because the fingers are poseable, right? They are. They're I'm wire. I try to just like wrap them around a little bit. Yeah, with the puppets we tend to, whenever possible, we just use, you know, a, a mechanical um, grasp, <laughs> meaning no glue, because they can really hold things pretty well in their hands. So if they've got a little sonic screwdriver, that's something they can usually just hold on to. Come here. I'm trying to figure out the arc of her body. It's almost like this. So like she's behind and then kind of comes out like that. My arm in this case would be in her body. Mm-hmm. Just kind of swinging around the, the side of the TARDIS. That's very missy. She, she's very playful. I'm trying to like, she, I noticed in the in watching the actress, she does like a lot of like, kind of like head cocking. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm trying to like get some of that in there. She almost feels like a vampire in some ways. <laughs> she's got like this kind of like broad, like theatrical. Extremely, she's chewing every bit of scenery <laughs> she's near. Even with this simple shot, I can already feel like I'm, as usual, juggling a lot of things. Like I've got her, her body's kind of coming around and then there's the arm that's a little bit like dragging behind it, not in a literal sense, but like it's a little bit offset. Mm -hmm. And then her head is like kind of trying to keep like uh, like focus lock, so. Look at her coming around the corner. <laughs> that's great. Like, Thank you. I'm trying to get her to, to a place where she can like naturally just kind of settle. How has her hair been? Like, uh, when I made this puppet, I actually didn't wasn't planning to animate her. Mm -hmm. So I said, ah, that's a future version of myself's <laughs> problem if she ever gets animated. Little did you know that it would be- It wouldn't uh, be future me. Future David's problem. Yeah. Like I bumped her hat a few times, but I think because she's like kind of constantly in these motions, mm -hmm. it kind of hides the hat movement. Interesting. Um, I haven't done a lot of animation with fabric, so that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, Doctor Puppet, everything, there's a lot of fabric. I, it, it tends to be stiff enough that's not an issue. We've only really had to wire up fabric a couple of times. So what was the thing you were talking about earlier in terms of like acknowledging the camera? Like, I'm gonna sneak into the TARDIS. Oh, you caught me, like that kind of a thing? That's good, I like that. Okay. Yeah, let's run with that. But I think one thing that is kind of a, you know, a limitation with a wire puppet like these is uh, getting like squash and stretch, obviously. And that's just a problem with stop motion in general. But in a shot like this, you actually can get more bounce because she's half off screen. <laughs> yep, and then take, if, you, if you look close at what is happening with her limbs, yes. uh, I'm taking full advantage of that. Rather than covering her mouth, I think what I might do is more like a, like a surprise like this, like a, like when you kind of put up your hand defensively. Oh, like, you like, caught me. Like, yeah, exactly right. It's like a caught, a caught red hand kind of situation. So I think now I'm going to, for this frame, switch her mouth to the, the O mouth. Do you like, you just grab it or like I don't Yeah, you just peel off the uh, old mouth and then you shove a new one on there. I want her, I want her hand to kind of like drag as far as it can. How are the wrists? Are the wrists okay to like? Oh yeah. I mean like, the the arms I'm are used solid to wire. This and no I, wrists except for this. So. The wires that go through the arm are actually the fingers. So you can get a lot of movement out of those wrists. You can drag them all you want, or lead with them. Uh, I need to. Well, unless I flip completely on the next frame. Do you feel like you have a uh, a lot of control over the puppet? Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't say this feels more natural than I expected, but it feels very natural. I think I'm getting used to the extremes of what can be done and sort of trying to feel that out organically. But the puppet does tell you. I, I, it does. I know what you mean when you say like the puppet is um, telling me where 
to pose and especially these wire puppets because they're you know they every puppet has a personality sure and some of them tell you where where they want to be posed and what not to pose them doing <laughs> and in this case like i literally just like after being frustrated with trying to find the settle i just like bent her back slightly yeah and th this is that's it that's all it needs to be <laughs> So before we take a look at the final footage, I just want to thank Elisa again for bringing these super sweet puppets to Paganimation. Oh, that was fun. Thank you for animating Missy. It was yeah. great to see her finally be alive. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to say about Dr. Puppet? Where can people go to watch it? I suppose it's important. You're already on YouTube, so just search for Dr. Puppet and you will find my channel. Um, I recommend that you check out uh, my playlist of the numbered episodes, numbers one through eight. That is the complete story, but also check out my Christmas videos and all of the behind the scenes video if you want to learn more about stop motion animation. Yeah, no, we like behind the scenes here. Uh, it's almost, you could say, the entire point of this show. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's now go check out the, uh, <laughs> the final animation. And well, thanks again, Lisa. Thank you. Animation is complete, and we're going to take a look at the animation that I did of Missy, the mistress. So this was fun to animate. Uh, the character was super poseable, obviously, with the modular wire armature that Elisa built. Some parts of this animation were very familiar. Obviously, we were shooting at 12 frames per second, which I frequently do. The facial expressions of the character were very, very simple, and it's really very similar to the kinds of expression heads we use with LEGO minifigures. But the differences from LEGO animation were pretty pronounced. You know, with LEGO minifigures and Pagano puppets and the characters from the Little Guys films, they all have very specific joints. A minifigure's wrist is always going to be a minifigure's wrist, and you can't really do a whole lot to change that. But with these wire armature puppets, it's kind of cool in the sense that, you know, they do have arms and legs and they're, they're humanoid characters, but if you need the arm to bend in a little bit of a different place than it normally would, that's okay, you can do that. You can find ways to kind of hide it from the camera so it doesn't look like you're bending it in a weird way, but it does enable you to make up for that lack of stretch and squash that we talked about. I really do feel like I captured the character, which is always important to me, especially when we're doing characters that are pre-existing. If it's something I'm just making up, it can be whatever I want, but if I'm trying to approximate something that already exists, it's important to me that I nail the performance, that you feel as a viewer that not only is this puppet alive, but that it feels like the character it's supposed to be. So that was a look at the puppets of Dr. Puppet, and special thanks again to Elisa for bringing those puppets by and taking the time to show me how they work. More than just animating the character, which was like a nice privilege, it was cool to just talk about animation with Elisa. There's a lot of crossover in terms of art, and it's always cool to talk to an artist who does something that's at the same time very similar to what you do and very different from what you do. There was so much cut footage of Elisa and I just talking about stop motion animation, and I think I'm gonna put a little behind the scenes video of that over on our Patreon page. So if you aren't already supporting us, head over to patreon.com slash paganimation and keep an eye out for that in the future. If you're wondering what this is, it's actually an issue of the Doctor Who comic with a Doctor Puppet variant cover. You can find this at a comic shop near you or online. Uh, if there's something else you'd like to see us animate, be sure to leave us a comment on this video or use the contact page at paganimation.com. And I'll see you next time for another How About We Animate That.